Mercedes for sure is the, you know, they're the world champions, triple world champions. They're the team to beat. Um, and, uh, you know, they set the bar pretty high, but that, that's what we're aspiring to. Hopefully, you know, we can be a real challenger team. I think the driver lineup we have is fantastic. We've had great stability in the team um, and we're excited about the year ahead. We've probably got absolutely the most exciting driver pairing on the grid. And, you know, it's so exciting to see the you know, development and, and the evolution of, of Max Verstappen, you know, just as he's growing in experience and confidence and an age at the heady age of 19 this year. And Daniel Ricciardo, for me, was the driver of the year last year. He, he put in some phenomenal performances right at the top of his game. His confidence is high. So I think the dynamics between the two drivers is great. They're going to push each other incredibly hard, which is great from a team team perspective and uh, I couldn't wish for you know two better more motivated um, you know drivers in our cars. Well the rules are a bit different for this year the cars are going to look different they're more aggressive looking they're wider bigger tires more downforce more aerodynamics and so I think the cars are going to look great they're going to be four or five seconds a lap quicker um, they're going to be a bigger physical challenge for the for the drivers for for sure and how that impacts the racing is going to be fascinating to see I think that you know, this, we're set for some fascinating Grand Prix this year and we're for sure going to see a difference, um, you know, in, in, in pecking order of the drivers because these cars are really going to stretch their abilities. I think RB13 is one of the, the prettiest cars that we've uh, designed and made because the, the geometry of the car under these new regulations, the proportions look right. It looks mean. It looks fast. It's that old adage, if it looks right, it tends to go all right, and this car for sure looks right. Well, we went into the winter on a, on a, on a real high, and um, you know, momentum definitely built during the course of last year. We developed the car well, we raced well, strategically we were strong. It's a, also a clean sheet of paper, and that for any designer, engineer, is a really exciting challenge. You know, a few years ago, 2009, there was a double diffuser. Is there a, a gizmo like that 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 we've missed that somebody else has found. Hopefully, hopefully not and hopefully we'll be competitive. I think in the factory there's a real air of excitement. You know, it's been a few months off that we've not been at the racetrack. You can see people are itching to get going again. New car, new rules. Um, it's going to be, uh, you know, an exciting countdown to the first race in, in Melbourne. We've got two tests in Barcelona. Um, four days for each driver, so it's not a lot of seat time that they're going to get in the RB13, but uh, there's a real anticipation and buzz around the factory that is, that is building and building. You know, what excites us most about 2017 is, is the opportunities that arise from these new regulations. It's going to be fascinating to see who's got it right, who's got it wrong and of course then it's going to be a development race all the way from Melbourne to Abu Dhabi and you'll see big increments early on because the regulations are pretty immature I think that there is going to be low-hanging fruit early on to make you know sizable steps and that's that's going to be fascinating and that's going to push every department in the whole team to try and out outwit outsmart out develop out produce our rivals and that's going to be a, a stellar challenge in Formula One this year. Red Bull's ethos towards Formula One has always been about, you know, Formula One is a sport, foremost and utmost, and in, as a sport it needs to entertain, has to be entertaining. It's got to be man and machine at the absolute limit. And uh, I think perhaps we need to think a little less about technology and a little bit more about ultimate chariot racing that Formula One should be. And I think there's a great opportunity moving forward to really address some of those points to bring the noise back into Formula One, turn the volume up. You know, the cars are looking great this year. It would be fantastic if they, they sounded a bit uh, louder as well. You know, make the drivers the stars and the heroes that they should be. Give more access um, to those drivers and personalities that exist within Formula One. I think they're the core elements that need to be focused on.